Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did another mat work Pilates session. This time I just went on YouTube and looked for a more intermediate style workout and I found one and it was, I wouldn't say as challenging as I thought it would be, but it was still a really good workout. I have decided though, I think I might try and grab the audio from the YouTube video and try and play it in the background because I feel like it'll be a little bit echoey if I did play it as I was listening to it. So I'll try a little different version of trying to get the audio from that video. I'll also leave it linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. I literally just typed in intermediate Pilates at home workout and then this video came up and I decided to do it. So it went for around 20 minutes. Um, there was harder options in it as well, as well as easier options. So whatever works for you and whatever you can do. Also, just as a disclaimer, I am not a Pilates, yoga or fitness specialist or instructor. I literally am just filming my workouts to help you guys out. So yeah, I got a couple of messages on my last video saying, why are you posting these videos? You're not a yoga instructor, or you're not a fitness or Pilates bloody personal trainer but yeah I just post them because I obviously want to help you guys so I'm just posting the workouts that I'm doing um, so yeah I just wanted to quickly mention that as well even though most of you probably already know um, I just wanted to put it out there in case you just clicked on my video and you don't know who I am hi we're gonna be doing an intermediate Pilates workout today so this is a perfect one to build on if you've gotten through the Pilates for beginners and you feel really comfortable with it and you want to take it to the next level um, this is the perfect next spot so we're gonna start on all fours you're gonna have hands underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips on an exhale round your spine tuck your tail tuck your head and then inhale to arch head comes up tail up Exhale, really push through your hands, lift the belly. Inhale, when you come this way, let your sit bones spread, let your belly hang, shoulders are down. Inhale, and let's go halfway in between those two, okay? So you're in a halfway spot. When you're ready, I want you to bring your right arm out in front of you. And then your left leg is going to straighten back behind you. So you're going to reach right arm, reach left leg like someone's pulling on your wrist and your ankle. And then let's bring them back down. And again, stay really stable in your back. And let's go left arm, right leg. And then back down. Reach. Okay, now inhale lower your arm and leg. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Remember, if any of this gets to be too hard, you can just skip it, you can rest, you can just go back to the move we were doing before. Trying not to let your back arch when you lift. Last one. Bring it back down, nice job. Let's do the other side. Left arm, right leg, lower, lift. Three, two, one, and bring it back. Very nice. All right, so staying here, I want you to take your right leg, send it back, curl the toes underneath, pull the belly up, and then the left leg. So we're gonna find our first plank of the day here. Find the shoulders down. Elbows are slightly bent, so they're not locked. You're really nice and tall on your toes. And then let's take it up and back. For our inverted V, you can walk it out if you need a little calf stretch. And then let's get both heels down, shoulders are gonna drop. When you're ready, I want you to come forward into plank. Then, tuck your tail, send it back into your inverted V. Inhale, forward plank, and you can do this on your knees as well if you need to modify it. Okay, come forward, stay here. Right leg, point the toes, lift, lower, lift, lower. This is called leg pull. Two, one, and switch, five, four. Hips stay still, three, two. You're probably wondering why this is intermediate right now. 
when it feels advanced for those arms, I know. Good, and then bring your knees down, take it back, child's pose. So with the advanced workouts, like the classical mat workouts I have and the cardio Pilates, we go quicker, we go through moves faster, and there's some more complicated movements. That doesn't mean that this isn't hard. It's definitely challenging. Good, and then let's come back up. All right, so one more time, we're gonna find a plank. Again, go knees if you need to. Toes, toes. Now what I want you to do is we're gonna lower down onto your belly as slow as you can. Elbows are gonna pull into your side. So again, go knees if you need to, okay? So elbows in, 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 as slow as you can. All the way down, nice job. Stay here, zip your legs together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So you'll see some of these are familiar from the Pilates for Beginners workout. But we're just kind of adding them more into a flow bringing them all together and we're going to add on to them as well. Now on this one, I want you to lift up and your arms come with you. Reach them out in front, pull around like you're doing a swimming stroke, and then come back down. All right, so you lift your chest, arms reach out, sweep the arms around, see if you can lift even higher, bend your elbows to your sides, come back in. It's literally like you're trying to swim through the water. And give me one more. Really good for back strength and some shoulder strength here. Just don't strain in the neck. And then back down. Nice job. Separate your legs. Press through your hands. I want you to come all the way up. Bring your hips with you. Look over your right shoulder. Left shoulder. Center. and then slowly lower back down. Nice job. All right, so you can press yourself back. Find child's pose again. And then re-stack your spine. All right, so we're gonna sweep the legs around in front of you. And then have them that distance apart and your toes pulled back towards you and you're gonna be really tall on your sit bones here. We're gonna start to work these postural muscles. Bring the hands behind your head. Inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. You're growing taller every time you rotate. Keep pulling the toes back so you're really, really tight in your quads and in your legs. You might feel this in your hips if you're tight. I am, I feel it today. Okay, come to center. This is called saw. Your arms come out to a T. Turn like you just did, but now reach forward like you're going to saw off your pinky toe with your pinky finger. Then you re-stack, then center. Okay, rotate. Reach, reach, reach. Pull the belly back, but reach for that pinky toe. Re-stack. Center, one more each side. Get taller, taller, taller. Rotate. Reach. Restack, center, arms down. All right, good job. Bring your legs together. Bring your arms out in front of you. Inhale, exhale, curl from the tailbone. Dial your hips underneath you like there are these kind of cramps on your hips, curling, 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 all the way back. Inhale, exhale, all the way up, over. Re-stack, curl, halfway down on this one. Halfway, drop your shoulders. Inhale your arms out to the side. Exhale, squeeze. Stay here, inhale your arms up, down. Two, last one. Good, curl, roll all the way down. Very nice. Sweep your arms down to your sides. We're going to hug the right knee in. Give it a squeeze. Good job. All right, hold behind the leg. Straighten it up. Just find a little stretch here. Now, I want you to walk up your leg if you can and find even more of a stretch. Pull that leg in. Okay, good. Roll back down. Now, leave the leg. We're going to do leg circles. 
So you're going to cross it slightly, cross your body, down, and then around to the right. Inhale, exhale. Leg is really straight and strong. Arms are relaxed, no white knuckling on your mat or the ground. Reverse. Trying to keep your body as stable as possible. Just getting some strength and mobility through the hip. Last one, come to center. Okay, here's the fun part. Grab the leg, roll up again. Find another stretch right here. Lift the left leg so that it's hovering. All right, are you ready for splits? Switch legs, switch. Little pull of the leg in when you come in. If you need to rest, then do this exercise right here without the crunch. Three, two, now you should have the left leg. Rest the right leg down, give it a stretch. Roll down, nice job. All right, you can release your arms down. Let's find our leg circles. Cross it, lower, and up. Inhale, exhale. Relax your neck, relax your fingers, reverse. Last two, one, good. And then just hug the knee in. All right, now if you stay here, we've got another fun one. Roll yourself up again. Now what I want you to do is give a slight squeeze on that knee and lift the right leg so that it's hovering. All right, are you ready? We're gonna exhale and switch. So a little squeeze, squeeze, but more than that, you're focusing on the reach of the other leg. This is called single leg stretch. Three, two, one, both knees in, and roll back down. Nice job. All right, let's place your feet down on the mat. Hip distance apart, inhale, exhale, curl your tailbone and roll yourself up. One vertebrae at a time into our bridge. Inhale and then exhale, curl from the top, soften your sternum, soften your ribs. Think one vertebrae at a time. Feel like you're lying on the beach with your tail towards the ocean. The tide comes in and it floats you up. And then when the tide rolls back out, it's going to pull your tail and your spine with it. When you get to the top, stay there. Inhale, arms reach back behind you. Exhale, back down to your sides. Inhale, arms back. Keeping the hips up the whole time. Reach them back, stay here. Curl and roll down. Okay, bring your arms down. Inhale, exhale, curl, roll up again. Now, stay here, feel stable. Bring your right leg up to tabletop. Straighten it, bend, bring it back down. Left leg lift, straighten, <laughs> excuse me, bend, and back down. I just got too excited, one more on each side. Lift, straighten, bend, lower, Lift, straighten, bend, lower, and then roll back down. Nice job. All right, I want you to roll onto your left side. <coughs> We're gonna come onto your elbow. So you're gonna line your body up in one line, basically. Elbow, hips, thighs, knees. Everything is Lift it up as much as you can so you're not sinking really strong in the shoulder. Top hand here on your waist. Exhale, lift your hips. 
Inhale, lower down. So we've got a little side plank action happening. If you want to make this harder, lift the top leg and just keep it lifted as you come up and back down. Nice job, feel like there's a rope around your waist lifting you up and then keep that shoulder really strong too because you're gonna wanna sink in it and I need you to really, really keep space between ear and shoulder. Lift up, stay there, lower the leg and lift, or if you're not doing the leg, that's okay, just hold it. Three, two, one. Ah, come back down, good. Straighten the legs out. <coughs> Lower all the way down onto your side. Top leg comes up, keep it there. Lift the bottom leg, squeeze down, squeeze. So now we've got actually a little more obliques, and then we've got some inner thigh and outer thigh happening too. Really strong in both legs. Squeeze the bottom one up, up. Okay, last one. Keep them together, lower both, lift, lower, lift. You got it. Three, two, one, and rest, good job. All right, we have another side to do. So find your right side <clears throat> on your elbow. One long line from knees all the way to elbow. Okay, belly button in. Exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, lower. Focus again on that shoulder. Check in, you have a lot of space between your ear and your shoulder. If you want to advance this, you would keep the top leg lifted. You're just gonna get more of an outer hip workout on that bottom leg, especially if you do that. And then a little more for obliques too. Okay, last one. Keep it up and either just hold it or leg lowers and lifts. Four, three, two, one, and come down. And then all the way down on your side. Legs are long, everything in line with your body. Top leg is at hip height. Pull the toes back so it's really strong and stable. Lift the bottom one and lower. So think of the inner thigh on the bottom leg, really squeezing up. Good, now keep them together. Lower, lift, lower, lift. You got it, four more. We're in the home stretch. Three, two, one, and come down. Oh, nice job. All right, push yourself up to a seated position. Let's find mermaid, which means right foot's gonna come in, left foot behind you. So this is a Z sit, arms to the side. We're gonna reach up and over to the right. Restack your spine up and over to the left. One more each side. I'm just flowing through our mermaid today. Just kind of stretch out those hips and the side waist a little bit. And then let's switch legs. Okay, trying to get both sit bones down as much as you can. If that's not gonna happen for you, try to sit on something like a two by four or a yoga block would work really well. And that'll help. And then back up, nice job. Arms can come down. All right, we're gonna swing around to all fours again. We're not quite done, almost. Not quite. <coughs> so find yourself with your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Exhale to round. Inhale to arch. Exhale again. Inhale. Find a halfway point in between those two. Take your right foot back. You're gonna find your version of plank. Okay, either here in full plank or you can come onto your elbows or you can be on your knees. Any of them is just fine. When you're ready, take it up and back. 
Find your inverted V. Come forward again. Take it up and back again. Now on this one, right leg's gonna lift. <clears throat> when you come forward, bring your knee in towards your chest. Lift it up. You got this. You can actually do this kind of on your knee too, just with one leg lifted. Nice job. Let's place that leg down. Left leg's gonna come up. Exhale, knee into chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, send it back. Exhale. Last one. Nice, and then foot comes down. Come forward into a plank one more time. Hold it for me. Three, two, one. Knees wide and press back for a wide leg child's pose. <coughs> And re-stack your spine. <clears throat> Let's bring your legs around in front of you. Legs together, nice and tall. Inhale, arms sweep to the sides. Exhale, reach. Oh, find a stretch. Re-stack your spine, arms out to the sides. Exhale, <clears throat> and hold this one. And then re-stack. And there you have it. That is the 20 minute at home intermediate Pilates session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peter's playing with his new dumbbells. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos you want me to do, like real time ones. I kind of want to film a booty bar workout. I did one on my live the other day on my Instagram and lots of you guys seem to enjoy it. So I can do that exact workout or something similar in a video like this if you guys are interested. So leave your recommendations in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.